Hi, welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a .com domain. Now in this video, I'm going to be using Namecheap.com for getting the domain. Okay, so once you're on the website, the first thing that I do recommend you do is sign up. And this part is pretty straightforward. You just fill in your details and create an account. And once you have your account created and you're signed in, I would actually recommend you fill in your details. So you can see if we go to profiles, uh, you can see here I have two addresses and all my details filled out. And then the next step I would recommend you do is head over to your dashboard and top up your account. I'll just show you what that looks like and you have three different options now the payments do go through in usd so united states dollars so once that's done we can now go to domains domain name search and then just put in the name that you would like to search and once you have the name you just simply enter the tld so dot com in this case and then just click on search and this should show you if that domain name is available for that particular TLD which is .com so you can see this is available and we can now add it to the cart but we'll just click on view cart and then you get to your shopping cart and you can select as many years as you'd like obviously the more years you select the more expensive it's going to be so these are the options that I've selected you can just review all this and then click confirm order so yeah this is why i like to use this part because i can just skip all the filling in of information if i've already filled them in once in my account that's why i said to do that step it just kind of saves you now for this part i'm just going to check on account funds which is why i like to top up and you can see it tells you your current balance covers your purchase if it doesn't you'd have to either go back and top up or you can just simply use one of the other two payment options. So I'll just review everything again. Now make sure you've checked the correct one and then click on continue. So the final payment will be processed in dollars, which is why I usually like to top up because I can just use something like my Revolut card or my PayPal to specifically use US dollars to top up my account. So once we're finally here, we can just simply click on pay now and at this point it's just going to process your payment give them a nice five star definitely recommend as you can see I'm quite generous to Namecheap except for this part so at this point you can just take this information here and if we actually go here to manage you can see that's active right now Alrighty, so I had to actually organize this next step so I can demonstrate it a little bit better. Uh, so that's why this might look a little bit different. Now, one thing that you will notice straight away is that this now says verify contacts for me. So you can click the drop down and actually go into manage. Now, when you go into manage, uh, within about 10 minutes from when you have registered the domain, you should have gotten an email to the email address that you provided and that email looks like this basically this outlines the verification process so I'll just simply click verify here and you can see that's been successful now if you'd notice you could see here your domain name is listed and the URL is also listed now you can actually go to this and within the first like two minutes after you've paid for your domain name, you will be able to access just a small HTML page that says this domain is registered with Namecheap. Now, the problem is if you don't verify, that page completely disappears and then you should get a message like this. So this would be a message from your ISP set in the block and that block has been put in place because the verification uh, process wasn't completed. So the person didn't uh, verify 
their identity via email. However, once you have that done and you refresh, you can see we now have this page that I was talking about. Okay, so that's that part done. And now let's head back to the manage section. Now, once you do refresh the page, your status and validity should be at active state. So yeah, just take a look around, discover some features. Um, if you're completely new to this, of course, you can leave a comment in the comment section below, just asking a question. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.